tight should I make this thing anyway? What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and one of the questions I get so frequently is how tight your bow hair should be. Getting this right is super important, so in this video we're going to cover why bow hair tension matters, how to find the right bow tension, plus an extra tip for keeping your bow hair lasting longer. Finding the right bow hair tension is really important for getting your bow responding well and getting good tone. And I find that most beginners tend to crank their bow too tight. They'll crank it sometimes so that the stick is almost parallel to the hair. You might think that that helps with responsiveness, but actually it makes your bow less responsive. The bow is built to be springy and resonant. And when you crank it up like that, you kind of crush all the qualities that we want in a bow. Now, most people find that it works best when there is a bit of tension on the hair, so it's not completely flat floppy, but not too much tension. The way that I find works well for me is to tighten up the bow and have it so that I can put it on the string and that it almost touches the stick when I have my weight really into it, but not quite. So that's feeling pretty good. This might be a little bit too loose. Yeah, way too loose. I'm like rubbing against the stick. That's not good. Too tight and I don't want to tighten it too much, so I'll just do it a little bit, but... The stick's too far away from the hair now, and that's just a little bit too tight. So it's this Goldilocks thing, just trying to find just the right amount. By the way, this will vary depending on if you play French bow or German bow, but not too much. And I find that for German bow, you just test it out a little further in the stick, and it's the same sort of thing. You want it to come close to the stick and not touch it, though. Here's some examples of too loose, too tight, and just right. When I get it just right, there is a springiness to the bow also for bounce strokes. And it is almost like the hair kind of wraps around the string a little bit. I'm not sure the physics behind it, but again, tightening it too much, you think that's going to maybe help with getting weight into the stick, but I actually find that it feels more like you're skating on the surface of the string, where when you're really dialed in, feel that hair wrapping around the string and kind of like bow and arrow pulling it back and letting it go. That's what I'm going for. Here's that extra tip I mentioned in the intro and that is loosen your bow when you are done playing. And I loosen it to the point where I can see the hair sort of uh, get floopy like that. Hopefully that camera's focusing. Uh, I don't need to loosen it to the point where the screw is coming out of the stick. That is too loose for me. Uh, but just enough, uh, maybe to the point where you almost start to have a little bit of gap right here is good. And just get in the habit of doing that after you're done playing. That will keep the hair from stretching out. It'll actually help preserve the life of your bow stick. You will start to lose the camber in your bow over time. And it's just good practice. So when I'm done playing, I mean, if I'm taking like a five minute break, I don't do this, but it, when I'm done playing for the day or if I'm going to go away for a few hours, I always loosen the bow and I just get in that habit. And it's not a hard habit to build, but definitely a good one for preserving the life of your gear. There's a lot more we can cover about the bow. So if you'd like to know about bow hair types, like why do I have this strange salt and pepper kind of hair or black hair or white hair, or all those other nerdy things, let me know in the comments. And if you'd like to learn more about Bowing and rosining, check out this rosin video I put together. Ooh, it's too loose. I can't use it. Gotta be tight, but not too tight. Bowing hair. Gotta be nice and tight. No time, but not too tight. Bowing hair. Yeah.